This is an ABC 10 News update. I'm Kimberly Hunt in the ABC 10 News studio. After more than two days of closures, the Hawthorne exit on I-5 northbound is finally open. Investigators are still trying to figure out the reason behind two water main breaks that caused the flooding and road closures. They say the pipes were decades old. Since 2013, the city has been working to replace about 180 miles of cast iron pipes with much more reliable PVC piping. In that time, water main breaks have dropped from a peak of 131 in 2010 to 33 in 2020. A city spokesman says that the last 25 miles of cast iron should be replaced by 2025. SDG&E is warning people in some communities they may have to shut off power on Thanksgiving to prevent wildfires. Santa Ana winds are back along with the hot, dry weather. That means 43,000 customers in mountains and valley areas, including Poway, Ramona, Alpine, and Hamul. Those who could be affected will be notified by text, phone, or email. You can also check their website to see if your neighborhood is on the list with SDG&E. California Interscholastic Federation will not return Coronado High School's regional basketball championship after last summer's tortilla throwing incident. The school appealed to the CIF's decision to vacate the championship. The Union Tribune reports that decision will stand, but the panel will reduce sanctions that affect other programs at Coronado. The school was initially banned from playoff competition and on probation until 2024. Those penalties will now apply only to the boys' basketball team. The punishments came down after tortillas were thrown at a game against mostly Latino Orange Glen High School students.